Motown dance. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Usher, 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 Usher. reading the tour guide. I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Caleb and I will be your tour guide today. Today we will be exploring the Constantine rainforests in the Republic of Congo. Are you ready? Let's go! Before we begin our adventures, there are some things you must learn. There are three different types of animals in this ecosystem. We have herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. We also have decomposers, but we'll get to those later. Ready to explore some? Let's go! Rainforest, it's time to go exploring! Are you ready? Let's go! Alright, I'm gonna hit the pedal to the metal. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, would you look at that? That's a mighty beauty. This plant would be considered a producer because it gets its food from our ruler, the sun. Now the sun, what it does is it gives the necessary nutrients to help this plant make its food. Now you're probably wondering, what does the plant do? Well, we'll show you. Are you ready? Let's go! Now producers, they don't stay around too long. Once they make their own food and keep themselves living, they'll be eaten, that's right, eaten, by animals just like this monkey, or gorilla, if you will. Gorillas are what we consider herbivores because they eat plants and things that we consider producers, like berries and such. So watch this gorilla eat this plant. Now, herbivores don't stay around long either. They fill up on their food, and then they get eaten too. Are you ready? Let's go! Well, look at this flower right here. That's a beauty. This might be scary too. Oh no, our monkey friend is being attacked by a frog. What should we do? I think we'd leave him, because guess what? That happens in the rainforest. I think we should get out of the way though before the frog comes and gets us. Wow, this is a very nice looking frog. Now this type of frog, shown down below, is what we call a carnivore because it ate that monkey earlier. The monkey is a herbivore because it ate the plant, but then the frog eats the monkey. That's how it gets its food. It's from the monkey, who gets its food from the flower who the flower gets his food from the sun. So the sun is still the ruler. But there's more to it than this. See, the frog can get eaten too. But wait, is that a s snake? Uh, I need to get out of the way. Is he gonna, is he gonna eat him? <laughs> now, just cause it ate that frog, doesn't mean that's all that it eats. It also eats other animals like rats. And Mr. Snake here, he's all stuffed from eating that rat he had just hey, hey, you want some cake? Oh, yeah, thanks. He's what we consider a carnival. <laughs> That's a relief. But we did spot something else that's inside you. What is it? Cool guy syndrome. That's pretty cool. You have a visitor here to see you. Okay. I'm sorry about the candy thing, but here's some pills. Whoa, what kind of medicine is that? Well, it's a bottle of pills that's totally medicine. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Let me take that. Hey. I was just wondering, where did your little snake friend go? We lost Mr. Snake! Oh, there's Mr. Snake! I see him! Oh no! He just got eaten. What shall we do? How about we spy on the cheetah? 
Are you ready? Let's go! That's a scary cheetah. We must keep our distance. So, the cheetah, since it ate the snake, and the snake ate the frog, and the frog ate the gorilla, and the gorilla ate the plant. That's how the food chain goes. But you know who's next on the food chain? That's right, the human. <gasps> oh no, it spotted us. We must fight back. Uh, thank you all for, for coming today to Caleb's funeral. Um, well, the reason he died is because he got attacked by a cheetah. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of sad, but he was a great guy, and he will always be remembered for exploring the rainforest. Does, uh, does anybody have anything they want to say? Yes. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, he was a good guy. He, he ate food from my beard. Wasn't suspicious from it at all. Yeah, I thought he died because of me, but it was uh, it's sad. So yeah. Well, thank you for that, Mr. Old Man. But I'm gonna do what he would wanted me to do, and that's finish the video. Are you ready? Let's go. guys, my name is Kyle, and I'll be finishing off the video today. Now before we end, there's some things that we must go over, and those include some of the abiotic factors of the rainforest. Now those are non-living factors that can affect it, just like rain, and the soil, and the temperature. Now there are also other different types of producers, it's not just plants, they can be like trees and seeds and grass. Now some of the herbivores which are animals that only eat grass include some of the gorillas and the grasshoppers. Some of the carnivores in the rainforest include the jaguar and the green anaconda. Now some of the omnivores and that's an animal that eats both plants and meat include the lemur, the hummingbirds, and a frog. Now, animal things that break all of that down are called decomposers. And we have some of those like fungi, termites, and earthworms. All of that will be shown down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions, you can ask the living Caleb, who's standing right over there. Or over there, if he's still sitting down. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you later. My name is Cal, and signing out. Goodbye. Love is like a bomb, baby. Come and get it on. Live